waking from deep sleep. In depth of sleep no mind appears, conceiving different seeming things, and mind's attention does not direct living energy from consciousness to different seeming objects in some world that mind conceives. Thus here, in dreamless sleep, all outward seeming energies of life have been withdrawn, and differences are all dissolved in consciousness which shines alone by its own light unmixed with any seeming thing. Here, every day, unnoticed, in the simple peace of dreamless sleep, all life attains to unity of underlying consciousness, from which all lives and minds arise. Whenever someone falls asleep, attention is drawn in from world of waking sense through dreaming mind to unconditioned consciousness, which shines unmixed in depth of sleep. All speech, all words and all they mean, all seeing, hearing, sights and sounds and all perceptions, thoughts and feelings then dissolve absorbed again into their underlying base of consciousness from which they rise. But when a person wakes from sleep, outgoing energies of life appear through various faculties of mind and personality. As sparks come forth from blazing fire, so too from consciousness come forth the various energies of life that mind and personality disperse through their activities. From these activities arise appearances of mind and sense, and thus, from these appearances, the worlds that we perceive are born. Beneath appearances of world perceived by senses and mind, consciousness continues on through every moment of experience, lighting all appearances that rise in dream or waking state and shining self-illuminated on its own in depth of sleep. It is each person's real self, the inner principle of life, that is expressed in every act of mind and body in the world. All seeming selves of body or of sense of mind depend upon this real self of consciousness. Just as a chief is represented by his followers who act with his support for his sake, so too the real self is represented by the semen selves of body, sense and mind, whose actions all depend on its support and are unknowingly or knowingly done only for its sake. On consciousness, the real self, these semen selves always depend, for all they do or seek to do, but it does not depend on them for it is there in depth of sleep, when semen selves have all dissolved. As long as this true self is not correctly understood and known, a person's actions are not firmly anchored in the changeless ground from which they come, on which they stand, and where they find all that they seek. Thus, if this ground of self remains, unknown, poor body, sense and mind, keep being overcome by their own demons of uncertainty and partiality and ill. But one who knows the truth of self has reached that certain deathless ground of unconditioned consciousness, where ills have all been overcome and freedom has at last been won. Mm -hmm.